If there's one thing that can be said about great white sharks, it's that they are extremely resilient fish. Just take a look at the scars on this one. But what causes so many injuries on sharks? And are humans responsible for them? Yes and no. The fact of the matter is, white sharks are very active fish, often engaging with their surroundings, with other sharks, and coming into contact with objects. I'll be the first to admit that based on my observations, more and more sharks are coming into close proximity to humans. But in most cases, it's the humans that are approaching the sharks instead. Humans are every bit as curious as any other animal on the planet. In fact, I've compiled clip after clip of footage like this showing folks on boats simply approaching sharks to get a closer view, some even using brooms to attract them. Others simply approach sharks at a distance in order to photograph them. But whatever the reason, it's evident humans get a thrill out of being near an apex predator of the sea especially if the shark they see is as big as their boat. These guys simply wanted a selfie. And it's not just guys either. These ladies also wanted to take a look. Interestingly, the shark did something I see time and time again. It returns the favor and approaches the shark, unknown to the boat's occupants. Pursuing a white shark may not seem like the wisest idea, but I've never witnessed a shark become aggressive as a result. Still, the impact of humans is directly seen way too often on our shores. While most folks approach sharks respectfully, many folks do so in a manner that's intrusive to the shark's natural path. For some reason, Jet skiers seem to love to circle sharks as if it's not intrusive to them. Had this been a whale, a hefty fine would surely be pursued. Areas known as shark nurseries are vital habitats for sharks. Similar to the nesting areas of birds, nurseries are areas where great white sharks eat, seek protection, and gain the experience needed to survive in the open sea. Being chased in circles by jet skis is not what's expected to happen in a nursery, at least not by nature's terms. The following clip demonstrates just how irresponsible some humans can be to the sea life within a shark nursery. Notice how one of the jet skiers purposely chases the flock of birds, even driving straight through the flock. If you look closely, you can see the jet ski is forcing some birds to dive frantically into the water. He continues to deliberately turn toward the flock of birds in an action that cannot be described as anything less than harassment of sea life. I struggle to share footage like this, but realize it's an important educational and awareness item that can hopefully help someone understand that respecting nature is an important characteristic of being a human. Perhaps someone will see it and think to themselves, we should be better than that. More and more, I am observing sharks with injuries, injuries that are boat strikes. I've witnessed several close calls, both for my drone and for the sharks. But people that have boats have always told me that sharks move out of the way and that the sharks are so keen to hear that it's impossible to hit one. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, in most cases, where I see a boat speeding through a shark nursery, the sharks rarely move out of the way. Here's an example. This boat was giving shark tours in a nursery area. When the tour was over, the boat sped right over the very nursery area it was touring. Notice how close it comes to plowing over not one, but two sharks. 
a vast majority of boaters are good people with good intentions and a respect for nature. But others have not so quietly informed me that boat strikes on sharks are simply not possible. I've often claimed it is very much happening due to the volume of boat strike injuries I film on sharks. And more importantly, that the sharks do not move out of the way. In fact, I'd go as far as stating that sharks likely don't know a boat is about to strike them until it's too late. And here's proof. Watch as this shark gets rammed by this watercraft. Watch closely and you'll see the shark even whips its tail up and seemingly strikes the boat as it reacts. Taking a look at it again, it's evident the shark doesn't react until it's too late. When this occurred, I immediately wondered how large this shark is. I didn't get a chance to speak with the boat's occupants as they are much too far from me to reach. However, a search for the boat's model indicates this is a 10 foot 8 inch boat or 3.3 meters. This is not a small shark. I stay away from making definitive statements about size on this channel, but given we have a size reference here, it's safe to estimate this shark's size at a minimum of 11 feet. The shark was certainly surprised, but what it did next did not surprise me. It turned right back to investigate. It's a completely normal reaction I've witnessed time and time again, except this time I was not sure if the shark was agitated or not. It was, after all, the first time I've seen a boat strike a shark. At this point, I lowered the drone enough to alert the occupants, and as you can see, they finally got to see how large of a shark they encountered. This encounter did not occur in a shark nursery, hence the size of the shark. So the folks in the boat were truly surprised by it. But it is proof that sharks do not move out of the way of a passing watercraft, and that strikes do indeed happen. While whales get special protections for how boats approach and interact with them, sharks because many have always believed exist deeper in the water column, do not get such treatment. But as I started this episode with, sharks are extraordinarily resilient fish. Here's a shark I filmed in September 2021 with an obvious tear through its dorsal fin. Likely a boat strike or a long line fishing injury. And here it is again in October 2022. 50 miles away from the original location, except the dorsal fin, while bent, is now healed and its tags have fallen off. It is a clear example of resiliency, but as more and more changes occur in their environment, the ultimate tests of resilience are unfortunately still upon the road ahead.